In the early 1970s, Bruce Lee movies kicked up the kung fu phenomenon around the globe. And from traditional kung fu, has come one of the world's fastest growing sports, wushu. Competitors perform a series of routines with kicks, punches, and jumps, judged to the smallest detail. George Vega has trained in wushu for 13 years. Is it more of a fight or more of a performance? Which one is the perfect balance? You want it to be performance and fight. China has been fighting to get its national sport in the Olympics for more than a decade. And this year, the International Olympics Committee will consider adding Wushu to the Summer Games of 2020. Al Bender has been the master teacher at his Kung Fu Academy for more than 30 years. He says Wushu is like another high-flying Olympic sport, gymnastics. You know, you watch gymnastics, you get that wow factor. Mm -hmm. Am I going to get that when I watch Wushu? You're absolutely going to get that wow factor. You may get more because there are weapons, <laughs> and those weapons are moving very, very fast. But in order for Wushu to be in the Olympics, wrestling, which dates back to the Olympics of ancient Greece, might be out. Could it be that wrestling has become boring? The IOC cited a report that showed low TV ratings, fewer internet hits, and shrinking global coverage. Wrestling isn't quite down for the count. It can get back in the 2020 games, but has to beat out six other sports, including Wushu. There are teams all over the world, and they do come together for competition. I don't think it's really going to be stoppable. The IOC will decide who makes the cut in May. Terrell Brown, CBS News, Bloomfield, New Jersey.